employee is speaking out against the Columbia City Manager's proposal to change a rule that would keep employees from requesting a public hearing in front of an advisory board. Fired police officer Rob Sanders is the only city employee who's ever requested and been granted an open hearing. ABC 17's Jillian Ferdig talked with Sanders and joins us live now from Columbia City Hall. And Jillian, he says the option to have open hearings is important. He says it comes down to transparency and government accountability. You'll remember Rob Sanders uh, was the officer accused of assault after pushing a prisoner in a holding cell back in 2011. He is currently fighting to get his job back right now. I talked with him today after the CPOA called this ordinance proposal unconstitutional. So our question is why are we going backwards and moving away from transparency and openness? If a change is approved, a new ordinance would not allow city employees to have public hearings in front of the personnel advisory board. We were told repeatedly this is the goal of the city manager to make this change. And I have to be candid and say, what are we trying to hide? Why do we want to have closed hearings? Former Columbia police officer Rob Sanders echoed the same question when I talked to him on the phone. I just don't feel like that the city manager uh, has the best interest of the employee in mind with this, and I think it should be a employee's choice. Sanders was fired from the police department after he was accused of assault when he pushed a prisoner in a holding cell back in 2011. He was found not guilty and is still fighting to get his job back. He has been the only employee in city history who requested a public hearing and received one. He says he feels there are details in his case that would not have come to light if the hearing would have been closed to the public. If an employee is, is appealing something that he feels like is wrong and in policy and he's being mistreated or mishandled or singled out, I feel like that it should be an open hearing so that you know, anybody with a vested interest or an interest in city government or whatever can take a look. I did reach out to city manager Mike Mathis today to try to find out more about why he is proposing this change, but my call hasn't been returned. Reporting live in Columbia, Jillian Ferdig, ABC 17 News. And the city council is set to vote on the proposal at its next meeting on Monday.